Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Viceroy. This is a new space strategy game that came out on Steam, seemingly out of nowhere. Like, I'd never heard of it before it dropped um, last week or a few days ago. Um, I think it was earlier this week, actually. Uh, it's very early August as I record this. And uh, this game is kind of fascinating. I've spent about half an hour with it before I did this video. I read the manual, played around. It's not exactly a 4X. It's more of a 2X because there really isn't any exploration or uh, expanding, really. Um, what, the, what this game is is basically there was already an established empire in the universe. And through some catastrophe, it collapsed. And so you have been, you have been hired as a viceroy, kind of a a middle manager, vice president type of person to uh, rebuild each sector. So we're going to start a new game. We're going to replace a save. Uh, yeah. So. There are three dominant cultures within yeah. our region. The Commonwealth, the Panarchy, and the Empire of the Elect. You must declare your allegiance to the culture and subculture you most identify with. This will impact both your starting technologies and the culture character of your upper, middle, and lower classes. So yeah, there are six factions you could join. This is the old empire. Uh, this is the oldest living civilization. As you can see, when I hovered over it, it had a little flavor text, but it also, on the right here, look over here, on the right it tells you the class of the upper, middle, the culture of the upper, middle, and lower classes, plus your starting technologies. So you can go and through all of these, like your upper class here will be biological focused uh, and your upper class here will be cultural focused and so on and so forth. And then for here you get computerized markets and telepathic dust and you get a colonial office and palace of the arts, you know. So basically you got to go through and read, you got to figure out which, uh, which one of these works for you. So uh, these are ancient traditions and slow decline. Uh, this is a uh, promote ideal, the re reality of competent democratic government. This one, uh, the panarchy, has several overlapping governments uh, to help with their functionality. Uh, this is efficiency and effectiveness in multiple overlapping governments uh, within one jurisdiction. This is dissolving local sovereignty and local cultures into a glorious unified whole. And this is the empire of the elect, as it was, but gone. They consider themselves reformers. So, yeah, each of these do have an effect uh, on how your game plays out. So I kind of like these guys. I'm not sure why. I think it's because of the democratic government. I don't know. That sounds nice to me. That sounds like my play style. So we're going to choose them. And then this is what happens. Struggled over long millennia, common cause, consensus, commonwealth, and you have prepared, prospered, advancing through the ranks to your currently exalted station. Viceroy, salute your excellence, your efficiency. But the empire is a myth. So lift up your voice. Yeah. So that collapse, that's what happens. The long imperial collapse. This is the Commonwealth's regional administrative capital and headquarters of its many missions and mm. bureaus. It is also the site of the Vice Regal Palace, where you can return to discharge assignments and receive new territories. Yeah, so each game plays out in a randomly generated territory, and each territory has a set of challenges. And if you successfully rebuild that territory, you get points that you spend here at the palace. And... Uh, these points. The Vice Regal Palace is the physical Sorry. seat of your authority and the principal location of your highest bureaus and functionaries. While between assignments, you may reassign influence gained from your Vice Regal successes to various bonuses tailored to your administrative style. So, yeah, you start off with 10 uh, points, and you get more points as you go through more assignments. So uh, you can spend these points on, you know, like if I want to, if I want to have more influence, for example, and uh, I want to have more industrial production and more science, 
And uh, let's see, we can have more speeds to our ships. We're not going to get ships right away. we got to wait a few t like turns before we can build those. Um, want my upkeep cost down. And you can you can you can upgrade this so you get more districts per territory, which you know makes the game more challenging, but also gives you more points to spend later. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so we want that, and uh, let's do that. No, just one point there, and then yeah, let's hang on. Let's do that. I want to do this. All right. All right, so now that I've chosen my, uh, so now there's no overhead, which is good because I believe overhead kind of slows you down. I read the manual. So now, now that I've chosen this, and over here, this is the university. This is more like a Galactopedia. The Commonwealth State University contains a wealth of knowledge about yep. the infrastructures, challenges, and general concepts you will encounter during your vice regal career. Yeah, so thank you, Tutorial Lady. So, uh, yeah, this is basically tells you everything about the game. And you can return to this at any time. So now that I've spent my points, you see that the portal has opened up. That takes me to our new territory. This so. is the territory you have been assigned to rebuild. It contains systems which conduct trade between themselves and the Commonwealth Gate, portals to several neighbors, and the regional artifact. The people here need your oversight to guide them back to their former glory after the recent calamitous collapse. Should mm. you succeed, their influence over Commonwealth politics will ensure you ever larger bureaucratic appropriations mm -hmm. fail, and their misery will reduce your influence accordingly. Yeah, so you can, you can change assignments at any time by going back to the capital and just turning an assignment in, but if you like turn it in too early, you might not get any points. So, uh, so yeah, this is, this is some of the, um, these are some of the, uh, characteristics of our territory, you know, weaponized. These are some of the things we're going to have to deal with. Segregated education, high gravity, seven planets challenge, that sort of thing. So there are several things you can do on a turn. The first should be to choose your technology. Because theoretical science has long since outpaced technological implementation, the quantity of technological wonders a territory can sustain, or science capacity, is determined not by what is known to scientists, but by the widespread understanding of practical science among the people. Right. So we have these technologies that are already you know, been researched and we could definitely, you know, we just got to find the ones. I mean, there are technology, which ones? There are certain technologies that you can actually spend money on, but I'm, they're highlighted a little differently. I'm just trying to find them. Yeah. Okay. So we can spend, see, we have a science capacity here and we could spend, we could spend, um, our capacity on some of these things so like we already have that and we already have unity of the commonwealth so we can adopt say common suffrage and each citizen is say his government is a hallmark of advanced civilization so we have a cultural specialist multiplier cultural productivity i like that i'm gonna did i already get that one oh, i might have so uh uh, we could do computerized markets. What's that one? Hybrid, 5% uh, rate of return. I like the sound of that. Yeah, give me that. And uh, let's see. So, yeah, we can unlock these technologies as we go. So you don't really research stuff as you do, as you increase your capacity and unlock things. So as you can see, it's a pretty big tech tree. There's a lot of stuff to unlock. Uh Ooh, education. I can't unlock that yet. So apparently I can only unlock a few things. What do we got? Ooh, industrial productivity. I like that. What's that? Palace of the Arts. Uh, ooh, I like that. Yeah. Seat of Justice.
So yeah, I like I like landed meritocracy. Meritocracy. Yeah, society's wealth is a portion of society's wealth is transferred not by inheritance, but instead the economic, political, and cultural stars of the moment. That's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, now now that yeah, each technology costs a little bit more, and right now we only have we don't have enough. So you can also see on the screen that these are our challenges right here. Right, let's go back. This to is one of oh. many systems under your control. It is comprised of several planets, each subdivided into administrative districts. Here you can review detailed information about the economic, foreign, and domestic affairs of this system and its component parts, examine existing and available infrastructure and consider the grave challenges left here by the recent collapse. Right. So we'll, I'll show you that in a second, but as you can see, there are certain challenges that we are supposed to try and meet. And you can see that there's a path to these challenges. So like, say, one of the challenges, seven planets, you know, have a have a challenge of high gravity. Five planets have a corrosive plague. Two planets have a double star system, and so on and so forth. So this planet has a. So yeah. To, so um, so clicking on this will tell you what you need to unlock to fix this challenge, and right clicking on it will send you to the system that has this issue. So this is a system, and in system there are each separate planets, and each planet has districts. So as you can see, there are f five districts on Owens two on Owens two, and only two districts on o oh, yeah, there are only five districts. There are five there are five districts on Owens one and two. Oh, two. On, oh, I see. So there's Owens one. Right, I see. All right, so you gotta click on all the way back, then you click on your plan, then you click on your district. And then you can see the economy, the domestic situation, and the foreign situation of each of your districts. So now we have some events. Let's see, build a local government in this district Sullivan District 1, build a local government. Sullivan District 1, okay. Where's Sullivan? Sullivan. And where was that? Sullivan. Sullivan 1, District 1. Okay, so Sullivan 1, District 1. And we have uh, populations that aren't doing anything. So we could drag them. Can drag, we can drag them to these specialized portions so they can start with cultural production, biological production, that sort of thing. That way, we start working on this. We start working on, uh, the, you know, and then we have these little things over here. That we can drag to our domestic policies. So these are kind of full. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go back. And let's see. Krish Education Wilkinson 4, District 2. Where's Wilkinson? 4, District 2. Okay. Uh, there we go. All right, so we did that. Very cool. And we can drag some more of these if we wanted to. So we're not utilizing any of you guys. So let's, let's utilize. 
Yeah, they, they definitely have bonuses to industrial, so I should put more there. Okay. Oh, that's right. Wait a minute. You wanted me to build a local government at Sullivan District 1. Yeah, so, did I, did I not build a local government? No, I didn't. Hang on, local government. There we go. Well, did I do, wait, did I move it? Wait. Okay, good. All right, so I moved the local government over there. And then what do we got here? One of your people has achieved a transcendent sort of fame. Oh, that's pretty nifty. All right, so now that we, we've done that sort of thing, let's, uh, let's do our next turn. See, now we have more events. So we'll take a look at them in a moment. Uh, build a colonial office at Owens 1, District 3. Owens 1, District 3. Build a colonial office. Owens 1, District 3. Build a colonial office. Where is there you are? Cool. Did that. Let's move... Oh, interesting. Okay, let's move the population around so there isn't anyone who's unspecialized. Oh, wow, we should, like... All right, let's see. So I'm just making these populations more specialized. That way we, you know, move forward with production. But it's interesting, you go district by district. So this district has a, you know, a superconductive grid and an unscrupulous society. Wait, one, oh, so they kind of cancel each other out. That's funny. Patriarchy citizens, all right. Imperial citizens. Patriarchy citizens. I don't think I need to worry about any of these right now. Okay, dokie dokie. All right. Oh, move you over here. So I'm just I'm 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 making the I'm making the population more specialized. Hmm. Maybe let's leave a few and unspecialized just for the hell of it. See what happens. So I'm specializing the population. So let's see. Okay. 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 All right. So we got Owens 1 and Owens 2. Uh-huh. Let's leave some of these unspecialized for now and just see what happens. I'm kind of curious. All right. So let's see. So let's see. We need a Crash education in Sullivan District 4? No. Was it Sullivan 3 District 4? Sullivan 3 District 4. You need crash education. Where are you? There you are. All right. So we build that there like it asked us to. Let's see. Uh... Oh, cool. So, new objective. Build a colonial office on Owens 1, District 3. Okay, let's do that. Oh, it's not going to take me there. Owens 1, District 3, colonial office. Didn't I already build one there? I thought I did. Yeah, no, I did, didn't I? I could have sworn I built one here. I guess not. Well, I don't have one available right now, so you're going to have to wait. Yeah, going to have to wait. This is one of many systems under your control. Whoops. It is okay, so that's cool. That's how many districts I have. That's how much money I have. Okay, I'm still kind of learning this game as I go. All right, 
So can I do that? Sullivan three, Sullivan three, District four, Creche Education three, District four. Uh, nope, don't have it available. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see. So what do we got here? Interesting. The Empire has reopened an Imperial crypt within your territory. Ooh, one percent fleet capacity growth. I don't think I can build any fleet yet. Since the construction of military vessels is substantially beyond the capacity of any one territory, each region sends contributions to the Commonwealth's overall fleet capacity, which mm. your Viceregal Administration has been authorized to use. You can allocate this fleet capacity between a number of highly customizable vessel patterns. If these vessels are lost in battle, their fleet capacity cost will be reassigned to you over time. Okay, so can we build a fleet? I click add a new fleet. No, it doesn't look like we can yet. Oh, wow. Cool. So these fleets help with rebels, and they also help instill fear into the... Uh, into the population so it'll help keep them in line so yeah you're kind of the empire here really <laughs> the regional governors uh yeah <laughs> let's see so can we drag this here nope all right i got it all right they're all set i guess we could change this if we wanted to do that. i guess we could change these if we wanted to oh we could that's cool all right, so now we have a fleet. Oh, we're, oh, I don't think I can do it. Yeah, capacity. We don't have the capacity. Cancel. Let's try that again. Oh, can't do it. Whoops. Still can't do it. Even for the small ship. Okay, we're going to have to wait a few turns. Before we can build a fleet. Alright, so let's see. What do we need here? Okay, we did that, I think. Ah, oh, wealth increases. Let's see. Population growth. Ooh, very nice. Interesting. So that's a district I actually set for a specialized population. So I should probably do that for these guys then. I'm going to have to put some of you in industrial. I'm sorry. Even though you all seem like you want to be cultural. Sorry. Let's see. Oh, wealth increase. Very nice. Oh, wait. Wealth decrease. Ah, what? Let's see if that does anything. All right. Oh, wow. Whoa. Hello. What? Wow. Okay, hang on. Build a local government. At Sullivan one district three. Ah. Look government, look government, look government, look government. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. Build look government Sullivan one district three. Didn't I just do that? Wait, wait, wait. I thought I did. Oh, build common suffrage at Sullivan two district four. Sullivan 2, District 4, Common Suffrage. There you go. Does that go there? Oh, just right click and it goes where it needs to go. That's pretty cool. All right. Cool. Just put a colonial office there. Didn't need to, but that's fun. All right. Let's wait. And then. Oh, that's very nice. New influence award. Very nice. Uh, four billion. Uh, build common coverage at Sullivan two district. Didn't I just do that? Sullivan two district four. I think I did. Yeah, I did that already. Okay, great. What do we got here? Uh, Hall of bureaus. Ooh, very nice. And then, uh, oh no, crying decreases. Oh, oh, that's good. That's, that's, oh, that's not good. I thought, I thought, I thought, 
crying decrease would be good but okay Let's see wealth in wealth decreases huh all right now what's going on wealth increases that's good so now we played around a little bit with that and now we have um we have neighbors as well Oh yeah, I forgot I can send uh Your vice regal sovereignty in this territory gives you the authority to operate any form of government you deem appropriate. Mm. But you have only been given this absolute authority for one purpose, so that you may save these people and rebuild this territory. Do not forget your duty. <laughs> All right. Uh okay, so you can change the tax rate, you can check the fleet spending. There's a lot of stuff going on. Build a colonial office at Owens 2, District 1. Owens 2, District 1. Colonial office. Colonial office. I don't think we have the option. Oh, we do. Okay, great. All right. And then what do you want to do? Build a uh, Owens 1, District 1. Owens 1, District 1. Well, the education oh, there it is yes beautiful all right i'm trying to keep it simple and do what it's asking me to do uh owens one didn't i just do that owens one district one owens one district one i don't think i can build that education thing because i think i just spent money on it that's okay. Uh, modernization boards. Ooh, very nice. Uh, wealth increases. That's good to hear. So this is our cultural artifact. And we have to do three tasks in each of these areas to unlock it. Now we have a neighbor. Though your vice regal administration maintains authority over the Commonwealth humans in your region, neighboring non-Commonwealth humans and non-human entities form significant political authorities who may assist in your endeavors mm -hmm. or even divulge the secrets of your territory's artifact. Right. So, yeah, they want us... So, they... they um. So basically, if you do these tasks, if you succeed at these, uh, they give you, you know, a little bonus, like one biological infrastructure to each district. So that's pretty neat. Um, so as you can see, I'm kind of on my way. 9 out of 60, 32 out of 240. It's going to take a little while. Uh, so those, and there's a, there's an, so we have a few neighbors, as you can see. And, uh. So that's, you know, the palace. Let's go back to where we were. So that's, you can also click that to go back to the palace. So there are a couple ways back there, which is nifty. So there's your artifact, which, you know, unlocks some fun stuff, science capacity. And then you have some neighbors, which wants you to do stuff. Yeah, see, these guys want you to have a scientific planet, an urban planet, and a cultural system. Increase your cultural output. Yes. Yes. All right. So not really much new in the way of technology. Do I have enough fleet capacity yet? Not really. Uh, can I get anything? Nope. Not yet. A few more turns, I guess. All right. That's what we're going to work on for the next entry is uh, trying to get to a point where we can build a fleet. Now, if it seems like I'm kind of flailing around, it's because I am. This is kind of different than what I'm used to, so I'm trying to learn as I go. Again, I've read the manual, and the manual is not bad, but this is a very different game than what I'm used to, but I am digging it quite a bit. So next time, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go through all our districts and assign most of the population to specialties, and then we are going to hopefully build up enough fleet capacity to build a fleet because eventually rebels will start showing up, uh, those damned rebels, and uh, we're going to have to deal with that. So thanks for watching this first entry, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.